Three more teens have admitted their roles in bullying Phoebe Prince so relentlessly that she committed suicide. Today, Ashley Long, Flannery Mullins, and Sharon Velasquez each had a hearing in Franklin, Hampshire Juvenile Court. They agreed to plea deals reached with prosecutors. Each of the teens was sentenced to one year probation and 100 hours of community service. And for a second straight day, Phoebe's mom shared emotional memories of her daughter and talked about what she lost the day her daughter took her life. I will return home and bury my daughter with her qualities of compassion, empathy, and zest for life. Phoebe gave me some of the happiest moments of my life. My pain is unbearable, and it will stay with me until my own death. And I would not wish this kind of pain on any parent. Ann O'Brien also told the judge today that Ashley Long has been the only teen charged with bullying her daughter to show remorse. Yesterday, two other teens, Kayla Neary and Sean Mulvihill, were also sentenced in connection with a case. We've also learned that the Attorney General has dropped the statutory rape charges against a 16 Austin Reno at the request of the Prince family. The Northwest Mobile Newsroom takes you to Johnston now, where firefighters are called in to battle this smoky fire on Fruit Hill Avenue. Crews at the scene tell us flames sparked on the second floor of this house just before noontime. Investigators say no one was home at the time of the fire. The cause remains under investigation tonight. New at 5.30, we are taking a closer look at this week's shakeup at the State House. Eyewitness News was the only station there as Representative Robert Watson, who was facing DUI and marijuana possession charges, was ousted as House Minority Leader. It was a heated meeting among the Republicans, and as the legislative session moves forward, there could be more fallout. Joining us now with his...